contact tower now on 126.0. 126.0 for one thing, that's right, thanks. Hi, it's Robert Goyer at Oshkosh 2012 with Jeff Umscheid, who's the uh, leader for the Cessna 182, 172, and 206 programs. And we're here with a really special airplane. It's a, a new airplane from Cessna. It's a 182 with a difference. Can you tell us a little bit about it, Jeff? Yes, this is the new Turbo 182 NXT. And what we've done is we've uh, um, added the SMA Jet A fueled engine to it. it so is, that's a diesel engine, I take it. A Jet A fuel burning engine. It is. We've taken the, the proven confidence, the proven performance of the Turbo 182, and we've married it with the SMA um, Jet A engine. Um, it's a 230 horsepower engine. And then we've also worked with leveraging Lycoming to have their field support network um, be able to help customers. Oh, fantastic. Now, so when you say that it's a turbo engine also, diesel engines are also turbocharged engines. So is it going to uh, be giving you the same kind of performance at altitude that you're getting it's, from a piston gas uh, turbo 182 this, now? This 230 horsepower engine will give you a max cruise of 155 knots, and at that, it only burns 11 gallons per hour, and which we'll, is about 30 to 40 percent less than its av gas counterpart. Well, that's a, a advantage in efficiency you probably can't get with a gas piston engine. So what are the other advantages of going with, uh, with a Jet A engine as opposed to a 100 low lead burning the, engine? There's, there's several benefits. First thing you'll notice is what a simple plane it is to fly. It's got a single power lever. It's got a constant speed prop. The engineers put on a really cool throttle quadrant. You just give it 100% at takeoff, then pull it back to 90%. It's very easy to fly. Um, the second thing you'll notice is what an environmentally conscious product it is because it burns only 11 gallons per hour at that 155 max cruise speed. You're going to save 30 to 40 percent fuel. There's no lead emissions with it. There's no carbon monoxide emissions. It's even quieter. There'd be less noise pollution. Fantastic. Well, it must do very good things for the range of the airplane as well. Yes, the range, the range, if, uh, max range is over 1,400 nautical miles and at max cruise it's over 1,000 nautical miles. So that's at around 155 knots you're going over over a thousand nautical. That's correct. Well, that's fantastic. So those numbers are way better than the previous uh, Turbo 182 then. What are the plans for the Turbo 182? Are you going to produce both airplanes concurrently? When this one comes out to market in the second quarter of 2013, at that time we'll stop making the 182 Turbo Avgas. This will replace it at that time. Oh, fantastic. Now, as far as the service is concerned, you said that Lycoming is going to be on board for providing that. Now, that's a, a sister Textron company, correct. right? Correct. And what is that going to consist of? Are they, are they going to have service centers around the country for providing this kind of service? Yes, the Lycoming team has been working with SMA, becoming technical experts with the engine, and then we'll leverage their 101 service networks out there around the world. Oh, fantastic. Now, one of the problems that we've seen with some uh, diesel, some turbo diesel engines out there has been uh, gearbox issues. Now, this is a direct drive engine, isn't that right? It's direct drive, so there's no, no gearbox, there's no radiator, there's uh, no, no gearbox to wear out and be replaced. So. Uh, we felt it was a, a great technology. So that's the advantage of simplicity there. Sure. Okay, so what are some of the other benefits that uh, customers are going to be seeing with this uh, new diesel-powered uh, Skyline? Well, the biggest benefit is the fuel cost savings. Avgas can be as much as $16 a gallon in different parts of the world, and there's areas that you can't even find it. It's becoming very difficult to get. This gives the, the customer a lower-cost fuel that's readily available, and you're even going to have less fuel consumption of that lower-cost fuel. But I'm guessing you're thinking it's going to be a good seller in the United States and sure. North America as well because you're discontinuing the, uh, the gas piston sure. model. So you think there are going to be benefits for, for everybody and even better benefits for people for whom 100 low lead is hard to find or really expensive? Correct. The reception here has been uh, very good. Are we've you been, talking about orders trailed. yet? <laughs> Not yet. We're saving those for another release. Well, that'll be a nice surprise Re when we get to hear it. The reception has been great. So. Well, fantastic. Well, from Oshkosh 2012 with Jeff Umscheid from Cessna Aircraft, it's Robert Goyer.